Welcome to my home. I don't think any roast is complete without some good roast potatoes. Whether it's for Christmas, Thanksgiving, or for your roast on a Sunday. I like mine to be crispy on the outside and really golden. And in the inside, I like them fluffy and light. I wrap mine in beautiful Irish butter, sea salt, and fresh rosemary, so they're full of gorgeous flavors. If you wanna watch me make them, come join me in the kitchen. So this is how I roast my potatoes, which I think end up being the perfect roast potato. So you need potatoes, which you should have peeled, um, some fresh rosemary, a clove of garlic, and some really good quality unsalted butter and some sea salt. So the first thing you wanna do is cut the right size for your potato. I like my roast potatoes small, like about this size. So chop up your potato. I quite like to use Marsh Pipers when I'm roasting potatoes. I think they work really well. The recipe that I have below feeds four people. So this again is a size of the roast potato that you wanna get. And then you wanna cover them about one third of the way with water. So what I wanna do is half steam them so that they're really lovely and fluffy. I'm gonna put a sprinkle of sea salt over them as well and put a lid on. And then what I want to do is bring these up to the boil and then reduce the heat and let them simmer for about eight, between eight and 10 minutes. So then what I do is I prep my rosemary and my garlic, take all the leaves off the, the sprig of rosemary. The smell is so gorgeous and sweet. It's such a great winter herb. The next thing is my garlic. I don't want these to be garlic potatoes, so I'm just putting in one clove of garlic because I just want a little hint of garlic in there. So I want to finely chop that rosemary. So these are potatoes that I've cooked earlier, and this is the texture that you should be looking for when they're steamed. So they're half cooked, right? But I've got this great texture on the outside from steaming them first, and that's what's going to make that gorgeous texture on the outside of the roast potato. So I'm going to get a frying pan on over a medium heat, and then I take some of this beautiful Kerrygold unsalted butter, which look at the color of this, it's so beautiful, from cows that are outdoor reared and grass fed. And I'm gonna melt down the butter. And then next, I'm gonna pop in all of that beautiful fresh rosemary and garlic into the melted butter. Follow by some really beautiful sea salt. When you hear it sizzling like that, you wanna turn down the heat. Toss it all around, so then all of a sudden I have this beautiful rosemary, garlic, sea salt, butter. So you get your spud, it's parboiled, pop it in, turn up the heat a bit, and you toss it with all those gorgeous flavors. A dessert spoon is your best tool here, so you just keep basting them in the juices and kind of tossing them around, so each side of the spud gets all of those flavors wrapped around it. So now that they're completely coated and sealed a little bit with the rosemary, sea salt, garlic, and that beautiful butter, I'm gonna transfer them on to a baking tray. The smells from these potatoes are so good. So in they go to roast. I'm getting lovely and crispy in the oven. Ooh. My spuds are done. Look at those perfect roast potatoes. Sizzling in beautiful Kerrygold Irish butter, fresh rosemary, garlic, sea salt. Crispy on the outside, but fluffy on the inside. Just the way I love them. And I hope you love them too. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just dress them with some lovely fresh rosemary leaves sprinkled over like that, just to bring a lovely fresh sweetness to the potato and some beautiful sea salt flakes. And these are ready to be placed on my Christmas table. 
So here we go, my perfect roast potatoes, rosemary and sea salt. The full recipe is below and make sure you pop over to my Christmas playlist for lots of other gorgeous Christmas recipes. So from me to you, Nalukshana.